For evaluating integrals involving rational fractions by partial fractions, we solve an example x to the power of 4 plus 1 over x to the power of 5 plus 4x cubed dx. Remember that the first thing to do is to check whether the given fraction is proper or improper. So as we can see, the denominator has a greater degree compared to the polynomial in the numerator, so the fraction is proper. Next thing to do is to factor out the denominator. So that would be x to the power of 4 plus 1. We factor out x cubed times x squared plus 4 dx. So here we see that there are four factors in the denominator. There is x, which is multiplied by itself three times. So that's equivalent to three factors. And then we have x squared plus 4, which is a non-factorable quadratic factor. And it's only it's not repeated. So for these four factors, there corresponds four partial fractions. So we rewrite that as x to the power of 4 plus 1 over x cubed times x squared plus 4. So there's the denominator x, and because it's repeated three times, so that corresponds to three partial fractions and one partial fraction for the non-factorable quadratic factor x squared plus 4. For the linear denominators, the numerator is constant. So we use a, b, and c. And for the non-factorable quadratic factor in the denominator, there corresponds a linear numerator in the form of dx plus e. We eliminate the fraction by multiplying the entire thing, the entire equation by the denominator x cubed times x squared plus 4. So what's left on the left side is x to the power of 4 plus 1. For a, we cancel out x in the denominator, so what's left is x squared times x squared plus 4. For the second term, for b, we eliminate x squared, so what's left is x times x squared plus 4. For c, we eliminate x cubed, we have x squared plus 4. And for dx plus e, we eliminate x squared plus 4, so what's left is x cubed. Next thing to do is to expand the polynomial, so we multiply x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared plus b times x cubed plus 4x plus c x squared plus 4 plus dx to the power of 4 plus e x cubed. This all equal to x to the power of 4 plus 1. Then we equate the coefficients of the variables. Since this is an equation, we check the highest degree is 4, x cubed, let's decrease the exponent, x squared, x, and lastly the constant. For x to the power of 4, on the left side, the coefficient is 1. And on the right side, all the terms containing x to the power of 4. So we have a here, and we have d. So we write a plus d. For x cubed, there is no x cubed on the left, so we write 0. And the term containing x cubed here is b and e. So we write b plus e. For x squared still, there is no term containing x squared on the left, but on the right side we have 4a plus c. For x, there is no x on the left, so that's 0. And on the right side, the term containing x is 4b, so it's only 4b. And for the constant, on the left side, we have 1. And the term containing the constant on the right side is 4c. So we write 4c. So from here, we can see that c is equal to 1 fourth. So we, al we already have this constant. And from this equation, we can see that b is equal to 0. 
So we have the second constant. And in the second equation, if b is equal to 0, then therefore e is also equal to 0. So we have the third constant. And then we look at this equation. If c is equal to 1 fourth, if we transpose that to the left side, that would be negative 1 fourth. And then we divide it by 4, that would give us a value of a negative 1 over 16. And lastly, if a is negative 1 over 16, we transpose that to the left side, that would become positive. 1 plus 1 over 16, that would give us the value of d, 17 over 16. So we have all these values, then we now substitute to our equation. So this form will now become, this will now be equal to the integral of, what's the value of a? It's negative 1 over 16 over x, but b is equal to 0, so we proceed with c. That's 1 fourth x squared. No, that's x cubed. And then d is 17 over 16, but e is 0, so we write 17 over 16 x over x squared plus 4 dx or we rewrite as negative 1 over 16 integral of dx over x plus 1 fourth integral x to the power of negative 3 dx plus 17 over 16 integral of dx over x dx over x squared plus 4 so in the case here, we're going to let u be equal to x squared plus 4, du equals 2x dx, du over 2 equals x dx. Integrating, we get negative 1 over 16 ln of x plus 1 fourth times x to the power of negative 2 over negative 2 plus 17 over 16 integral of du over 2 over u. So again, this is 1 over negative 1 over 16 ln of x minus 1 over 8x squared plus 17 over 16 times 1 half ln of u plus c. So finally, our answer is negative 1 over 16 ln of x minus 1 over 8 x squared plus 17 over 32 ln, what is u? That's x squared plus 4 plus c. So this is an example showing case number 2 the repeated linear factors, and case number three, a non-repeated non-factorable quadratic factor.